tape off this nanny to shout. I seem to remember in this scene, we put in some lyrics from an album I hadn't made yet. Final Cut, is it? Oh, some stuff from the Final Cut. Well, on the same kind of theme, I think some of the animation we just looked at there was actually from things that have been shown with Wish You Were Here and yeah. other bits of road shows that we That's right, yeah, the supplemented taking, the animation with. Taking the meat off the hook yeah. was from Wish You Were Here, wasn't it? And I don't know whether it's in this movie, but I think I remember the man falling through the sky and turning into a leaf. I think that's in here somewhere too, and that came from Wish You Were Here. So we sort of um, cannibalized bits of other shows for some of the animation. Some of the first bits of animation I did on the wall. Well, in many ways, I didn't quite know where, where it was going, although I knew the theme of the trial. I was trying yeah. all sorts of different things, and it didn't have a kind of unified personality like Goodbye Blue Skies or, right. or The Hammers or even The Flowers. This is sort of. Morning, and it's, all, it's more conventionally cartoony, too. Show. Yeah. I think this is wonderful, but it's interesting how the dock, you know, that grew and the judge coming out of it and stuff, sort of, by comparison with some lot of the other stuff, sat rather kind of artificially on, on the screen or something like that. But having done, the thing about animation is that, in a way, having done it, you have to use it all because it took so long. It took so long, it's so, so expensive. expensive yeah. so whatever, that willy-nilly you can't... You know, you don't get to do anything again. And this, that was great. I think some of the ideas in this are fantastic. Yes. I love it. It's a very, it's a great sort of narrative piece of music as well, this, this trial sequence. Guy break leaf man. Yeah, right, right. and that was for Wish You Were Here, isn't it? Yeah. You little shit, you're in it. Now I hope they throw. 
throw away the key. You should have talked to me more often than you did, but no. You had to go your own way. Have you broken any homes up lately? Just five minutes, worm, your honor. Him. Again. Yeah, I just simply obsessed with her. You're right. Could have done with a bit of that. Now, bits like this, I hate. I just hate the drawing of this, this mother here. It's too cartoony in the wrong sort of way. Once it becomes symbolic like that, then I'm happier with it. But once it's one of those mundane cartoons, it really. Well, that's actually one of my drawings, this one. One of the few drawings in it that I actually touch myself because naturally. Most of the others are done by directing other people to draw. There are so many I couldn't possibly do them all by myself. So these are mostly drawings to my designs by other people, and me looking over their shoulders saying, this should be bigger here and this should be longer there. Or whatever. This is another bit from Wish You Were Here, isn't it? Yeah. There were other things we didn't use, like a man who walked in the sandstones in a sandstorm and, and eroded when the wind blew, you remember? Yeah. And the judge here is like a gigantic arsehole. This is what a lot of people think about the law in many cases. I always like the character on the side who shouts, go on, judge, shit on him. Coming up soon. Fills me with the urge to defecate! Saints, my friend, you have... He was cut out of the film, you see. Such is life. He was black taped. Tear down the wall in a way it was difficult to kind of match with the live show when, when the real wall came down. It was yeah. an incredible moment in the live concert. On film, it's rather difficult to achieve with that. Um, because it's all contained within the small screen, whatever you do is within that yeah. space. A bit more random bits of animation. remember the day they did this they're actually quite small explosive charges but very high power fans to blow all the dust and stuff this way so it's not actually the explosion that blows all the bits of the wall away it's actually air blowing from behind the wall that does that because this was just done on a lot in pinewood but you see what you mean about I mean about this. You, there's nothing to relate it to, really. I no. suppose the size of the explosion helps. Yeah. But there's no figure or anything to give it. It could be a wall four feet high. But yeah. It's difficult. When you, but when you okay. were actually in the concert and the real wall that's yeah, all yeah. across the arena broke, that was fantastic. Not that this isn't impressive, but you know what I mean. 